Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm just going to share with you a quick little grocery haul. This is just a weekly grocery haul. I'm also going to share with you what I'm planning on making this week. I normally plan out four or five dinners, basically through Monday through Thursday. We may have a dinner on Friday or we will go out or like pick up carry out because we actually haven't went out to dinner yet um, since shutdown and everything. It's been like almost a year. And then um, on Saturday is basically like Chris's choice. So he will decide what we eat for dinner and he'll pick something up. Usually it's just meat and vegetables because... We like to have some cocktails and just to keep it healthier and lighter. And then on Sunday, we will usually go out to the store as a family and pick something up or just put something together that we have at home. So I'm gonna show so I'm gonna share with you what I picked up from Kroger this week. Alright, we're gonna start over here with a couple cans of crushed tomatoes. Now this is gonna be for my turkey Cincinnati style chili. We also picked up a dozen of these pasture raised eggs. These are actually really good and they're way cheaper than the Vital Farms. The yolks are so bright yellow on this orange. They are beautiful and delicious. I also picked up some hazelnut creamer. This is non-dairy and it's only 15 calories per tablespoon. I'm not tracking right now. I'm just doing intuitive eating. And then I also picked up some of this almond breeze. Ooh, got knocked over my shelf. And this is just the coconut milk. Is it the mix? I didn't realize that I got that. I thought I got just coconut milk. Either way, that's actually perfectly fine. But this I use mostly for smoothies. Um, if I was to get just the plain unsweetened almond milk, I would use that for sauces and gravies. But the coconut milk I use just for smoothies. I have a couple new recipes I, that I want to get back into doing because I am a creature of habit and I have the same one every day. But it's so delicious. I can't stop. I also picked up some kombucha. We love getting this kind. I like getting a variety of kombucha along with taking a probiotic capsule from Young Living called Live 9 and then also sauerkraut and kimchi and stuff and like mixing them up and not taking them every day but just having a variety of probiotics that is really the key to um, a you know good probiotic regimen is just having a variety. Picked up a couple laughing cow. This hot pepper I'm going to be using to make some bacon wrapped jalapenos. I cannot remember if I shared this recipe. I made one myself last year and like mixed up the cheese with like a bunch of seasonings and stuff and it was good, but this, I <laughs> so much easier. All you do is use half of one of these, spread it in a half of the avo or avocado jalapeno and then you wrap it with half a slice of bacon and the whole thing is like 40 calories compared to like 110 of what you would um, get out of just like a regular, you know, stuffed jalapeno. So I'm going to make that for Super Bowl. Then we got Taylor, the original. She likes having this with pretzels or some breadsticks. Also picked up some mozzarella cheese. And this is for pizzas. I've got non bread from Sam's. And um, we uh, they didn't have any of the cheddar cheese, not cheddar cheese, mozzarella cheese there that we like. So I picked up this. I do try to get organic or grass-fed dairy as much as possible. Obviously, that's not it, but this is. Um, it just seems to sit better, like, on our stomach. And then we also picked up a thing of chicken noodle soup. Taylor picked this out. I always let her pick out, basically, just one item, whatever she wants. And so we figured she can have that for, like, two lunches. We also picked up some Annie's, like, SpaghettiO uh, things. And she actually likes having these with hot dogs in them, turkey hot dogs. And this is basically, I keep this on hand in case we're having, like, tacos or, or curry, which I'm having this week, because she just won't eat it. And this is fine. She gets her carbs from here. Then she can have uh, the hot dogs, which would be a good source of protein for her and then she also will have like broccoli or green beans or even like raw carrots um, or tomatoes or some sort of like vegetable on the side um celery you know whatever and um so that's just kind of on hand just in case or if I need a quick lunch uh, I'm pretty stocked up on her lunches though from Sam so that's good and then she picked out some pink lady apples and I always get organic apples um you know basically I definitely get the things that I'm going to like eat the skin with organic or that are organic. But here's the truth. Like as something is growing and it's being sprayed with organic or being with pesticides, the pesticides get into the fruit. So yes, that's kind of like you're, it's better that way, you know, like to get like bananas for instance that are peeling, but there's still pesticides inside there. So anyway, we do the best that we can. You do the best that you can. Um, but if you can get organic, get organic. 
um, bananas. We actually get organic bananas too, even because they're just like not very expensive. Even though again, like they still get the pesticides inside the fruit. Like just because it has skin on it doesn't necessarily mean that you can uh, be fine without it. But whatever you do, some things are not organic. This squash is not organic. You know, we have a variety. It's called balance. And there's Dexter again, always barking. We have dogs across the street, and they let them like just roam around the neighborhood, which is really not ideal. And Dexter just barks at them all day, and it drives me crazy. Dex, enough. He literally just spit up because he's barking so much. Um, anyway, I picked up a huge bag of carrots. We actually already went through the ones from Sam's. We always need some carrots. It's Dexter. So he picked up a big bag of carrots. These are going to be used for our um, veggie tray. Okay, I don't know what I'm trying to say. We got a big bag of baby carrots. We also picked up some potatoes. These are um, different colored potatoes that we're going to put actually in the Instant Pot for a pot roast. Also picked up some regular carrots. These carrots are going to go in with the other carrots for the pot roast as well. These are the jalapenos that we're going to be using to make the stuffed jalapenos I mentioned. We also have some blueberries. And um, fun fact is we, when we were leaving Kroger, the blueberries and the tomatoes fell out of the cart. The blueberries did not even come open. They're full pint. But look at these tomatoes. We only got half of them. So anyway, also picked up a couple bags of salad. I got these because, number one, they're on sale. Number two, it makes very easy for me to make Chris like a quick salad for lunch. Dexter! I mean, seriously. Okay. Sorry, guys. I know it's probably very annoying. But like my video if you like listening to my dog bark. So, anyway, um, we got some salads for Chris. Picked up a bunch of lettuce here. This I have never seen a red leaf butter lettuce. Never saw it, but I'm going to try it. I love the baby romaine. So, I picked up two containers of those for salads for myself and probably Chris, too. These will last him. Like, sometimes I can get two salads out of them, or sometimes they're just one salad. It really depends on. What if I feel like just throwing it in a in a container or actually like portioning it out? Um, picked up two cucumbers. One of these we're going to use for some spicy tuna sushi bites, which I wanted to share a video on the uh, meal prep. Um, not meal prep, but the um, like Super Bowl party food. Um, but it just didn't happen. So I'm hoping I can record it when I make it tomorrow and then I'll just have like a video come out with some healthy party food snacks. So we're going to make some spicy tuna sushi bites with this. Also need avocado for that. Um, and then I just picked up a couple of zucchini just to have uh, for dinner tonight. And then um, some Parmesan cheese. We're having a beef bolognese. So the spaghetti squash. I didn't even really mention the spaghetti squash, but we got the spaghetti squash to have a bolognese. Um, and we're going to top that with um, the Parmesan. And by the way, I have this as a story highlight, um, unlike food or recipes or something um, on Instagram. But if you cut this baby in half this way, first off, you don't actually chop off your hand because it's really hard to cut this lengthwise. And that's not necessary. Just cut it like this and then take the seeds out, put olive oil, salt, pepper, and then put it flesh shut side down for about 40 minutes at 400. And then when you actually scoop it out, it's like longer strands and it seems more like spaghetti. But a little tip for you. Also picked up some American cheese. This is something Taylor picked out and she already opened it up with, um, she had a bagel with some cheese on it today after gymnastics. And then we picked up some turkey pepperoni. Again, this is for the pizzas with the naan bread that I picked up from Sam's. Here are the bagels. She just likes eating these little miniature bagels. And I also picked up some gluten-free bread. Two slices have five grams of pro or fiber. I like finding bread with fiber. It's super important. Now, this only has one gram of fiber per um, bagel. But this has two and a half, basically, per slice. So it's just a better option for you. Even stuff like, you know, that is gluten-free does not necessarily mean it's healthy. Like, try to look for fiber with your carbohydrates. Picked up some deli meats. This is a low-sodium boar's head ham. And this is a low-sodium low uh, boar's head rare roast beef. Love that. You can see how, like, red it is, I think. It's shadow. Um... This is really good to actually wrap an avocado and a tomato. Like, you spring it with a little bit of cumin. Oh, my God. So delicious. 
And then we picked up a couple packages of turkey hot dogs. Like, are these healthy? I mean, no, but they're healthier. It's not about always having like completely clean eating. I think that's ridiculous to even aim for, like unless like you really, ha really have to. Um, and you can actually maintain it. Even if you have a condition, you can get away with a little bit of like gluten once in a while, unless it's celiac, you know what I'm saying? Like if you have autoimmune or something like, Dairy and gluten aren't great for that, but you can get away with a little bit. It's all about when you have too much of anything that really causes the problems, and there's many other factors that cause that. Totally follow me on Instagram. You'll learn all about all that rest of the stuff I'm talking about. Um, I mentioned the turkey pepperoni, and I just wanted to mention again, we get the turkey pepperoni because it's just healthier. That's all why we get it. Now, is for pepperoni healthy? No, but it's a better option. Like, choose better options. They picked up some Smithfield bacon. We like the Smithfield because it's just kind of, I don't know, it reminds me of vacation when we vacation in Virginia. It's from Virginia, and I just like it. So, pick those up for the jalapenos, and then we'll probably have some leftover for breakfast. But this is what I picked up from Kroger for this week. Well, thanks for letting me share with you what I picked up from Kroger this week. I hope you have an awesome day. Please go do something good for yourself because you know you are number one and you deserve it. And I will see you next time for the next video. Have an awesome day. Bye.